Okay, so you're welcome to this very channel. And for today, I'll be taking trigonometric differentiation. So how do we differentiate trig functions? It's going to be treated in this very video. Now, please subscribe to this very channel and watch more videos to be enlightened mathematically. So first of all, I've earlier treated differentiation and I've done everything, every rule that would actually help us in subsequent problems. So what will happen is majority of the videos, I'll leave the link of the playlist in the description for you to actually watch them. So first of all, first of all, trigonometric differentiation, let me just give the tables and let us proceed with solving questions. As a JAM student, you're actually going to have to solve problems very fast. So um, let me just give this table. If, for example, I have y and I have another part called dy dx, for example, if the first function I have is sine x, when you differentiate sine s, the result is cos x. So take note of that. The second one, if you have cos x and you differentiate, you're going to have what? Minus sine x. That's what you're going to have. Then, number three, tan x. If you differentiate tan s, you're going to have sec squared x. Well, the thing about this is you would barely see tan in your question, yes. Students are barely asked what tan is. You, you are barely asked. So look at this. Just take note. If you differentiate sine, the result is cos. If you differentiate cos, the result is negative sine x. Then if you differentiate tan x, the result is sec squared x. Now, I hope you know that tan x is the same thing as sine x over cos x. So should in case you're asked to differentiate sine s over cos s, it also means the same thing as differentiating tan x. And the result will still be sec squared x. Okay, so this is how we then differentiate functions. First question. First question, rather. If y is equal sine 4x, find dy dx. So how do we do a problem like this? This is 4x. Now see, actually I'm supposed to use a substitution here. I'm supposed to substitute. But I don't want to do that. Let us just solve the question straight ahead and get the answer. So dy dx is going to be, differentiate this angle 4x. What are you going to have? You're going to have 4. If you differentiate 4x with respect to x, your answer is 4. You write down your 4 times, differentiate sine. Remember, I said sine is what? Cos. So you put your cos. Repeat the angle back. 4x. So the answer is 4 cos 4x. So see the principle here. Differentiate the angle, differentiate the trig function, then put the angle back. So look at the second question, number 2. If y is equal to sine 7x, find the y dx. So let us assume we have that very um, question. So the result will then become the solution to this. Y is equal to sine 7x. So you write your dy dx equal. So the first thing we're going to do here is I have a 2 here. So this 2 is a constant. It has to remain at this part. I write the 2 first of all. Then times differentiate 7x. You're going to have what? 7. Differentiate sine. You're going to have what? Cos. Repeat this angle back. 7x. So it means the final result is 14 cos 7x. <laughs> That's quite simple to get. It's quite simple. And the same principle for everything. So that's number two. Number three. If y is equal cos minus 4x, find dy dx. So how would this very one be solved? It's still the same thing. It is still the same thing. So solution y is equal cos minus 4x so for a start for a start dy dx will become i have one here remember one is not really uh, significant when multiplying so one of these minus 4x differentiate this angle minus 4x what would you have minus 4 remember differentiate this angle minus 4x your answer is what minus 4 then times differentiate cos Cos will give you what? Minus sine. So this is minus sine. Put this angle back. Minus 4x. 
So all this then give to you minus times minus here will give us what? Plus. So this is plus 4 sine. Put the angle back, minus 4x. So remember, you can decide to write the plus or not. So this will give you what? The result. This will give you the result to that very problem. Okay, question 4. Question 4. If y is equal 6 sine 3x minus 4, find dy dx. Okay, so this is question number 4. Now looking at this, it is not difficult. It is still the same pattern. It is still the same thing. So our solution, <clears throat> y is equal 6 sine 3x minus 4. <clears throat> what would happen here? Dy dx would then become, this is 6. This 6 here is a constant. So I would just still write it. It's a constant multiple, so it changes nothing. Times, differentiate this angle. What would you get when you differentiate this angle? You are going to have what? Theory. When you differentiate that very angle, you are going to have what? Theory. Remember that this 4 is a constant. Okay. Sine is what? Minus cos. When you differentiate it, sorry. Sine is just cos. Don't mind me. Differentiate sine. Your result is cos. Then put the angle back. 3x minus 4. So what will be the final result of this? 6 times 3 is what? 18. So this is 18 cos 3x minus 4. Now with these four examples, I believe you can see that it is pretty easy to actually um, differentiate trig functions. It is easy to differentiate it. What you simply do is you bring in your angle, differentiate your angle, differentiate the trig function, then replace the angle back. So it's quite easy. So let me take this last example on it concerning this part. Number five, if y is equal sine 3s uh, squared plus 4x minus 7, find dy dx. Okay, so looking at this, it is still the same process. It is still the same thing. The solution will still be the same. So solution will say, we we'll have y equals sine 3s squared plus 4x minus 7. dy dx will become, first thing you do, differentiate this angle differentiate this angle. So what are we going to have? 3x squared, when you what are you going to have? You're going to have 6x, differentiate 4x, what would you get? Plus 4. Then minus 7 is what? 0. So it's not quite important because it's a constant. So that means I have 6x plus what? 4. Differentiate sine, what would you get? Cos. You're going to have cos. Then put this angle back. 3x squared plus 4x minus 7. So as you can see, this is the what? This is the result when you differentiate this very number five. So everything I've taken, these are all possible jam questions. This particular one is from jam pass question number three. So each of these questions are very, very important. They are sacrosanct. So I want you to take them down as we proceed to the next example. Now the next example is this. Look at this very number four. Number four says six sine this. Now, I said 6 is a constant. What if 6 is something that has x? So, it means the next question I'm going to give, number 6, is going to be on product rule. Because I'm going to be multiplying two things that are going to have x. So, take this down. Take it down. Otherwise, I am wiping the board at this point. Okay, 6. If y is equal x sine x, find dy dx. Okay, so this is the question I was talking about. If y is equal x sine x, find dy dx. So we have x, then we have sine x. These are two different things multiplying themselves. And this would call for what? Product rule. So remember, what do we always do for product rule? We call the first one u, we call the second one v. Now remember to actually um, go back to the video, I will link up the video here, so you can click this link right now to watch product rule. 
So we have y equal x sine x. So the first thing I'll do is to call one of them u. So that means I choose to say let u be equal to x. Let u become this first guy. Then v will then become what? Sine x. That is what I choose to do. So u should be the first one. Then v is sine x. So right now, what will be my u prime? u prime will become what? 1. If you differentiate x, your answer is just what? 1. What of v prime? v prime is going to give you what? Cos x. Remember, if you differentiate sine x, your answer is what? Cos x. I've earlier said, when we started this very video, this very topic, that v prime means differentiate v. u prime means differentiate u. So what is the product rule? So I'm going to say using product rule, using product rule, dy dx is equal v du dx plus u dv dx. So that is what it is. Now looking at this, what am I going to say? I'm going to say that v is what? Look at v. What is v? v is what? Sin x. So I'm going to replace v with sin x. du dx. du dx is u prime. Because u prime means it differentiates u with respect to x. So that's what? 1. Then plus, what is my u? u is what? x. Then bracket, what is dv dx? v prime. And that's what? Cos x. So what will be the final result of this? 1 times sin s is same thing as what? Sin x. Plus s times cos s is same thing as what? S cos x. So this will be the result of everything. This will be the result of everything that we've been doing. So it is possible you can have something like this and you're asked to what? Differentiate it. It is possible. You can have something like this and you're asked to what? Differentiate it. Okay. Now, what if we have another difficult problem? That will be the last for this very video. Then you can watch other video to learn about trigonometric differentiation. But if you're a jam student, everything I've done here would help you. Everything I've done here actually solves trigonometric differentiation for jam students. Yes, it will solve it for you. Thank you. Okay, I was thinking of a very um, difficult uh, question, but not really difficult. Number seven, if y is equal sine squared 3x, find dy dx. Yeah, something like this. It's, it's kind of beautiful. If y is equal sine squared 3x, we have to find dy dx. Wow. So what do we do? It's quite simple. Now the first thing we have to note here is this. Whenever you see sine squared, it means we're actually uh, multiplying by 2. Sorry, we're multiplying, we're squaring that very thing. We're multiplying twice. That's the meaning. So if I have y equals sine squared 3x, what this means is y is equal sine 3x to the power of 2. That's the meaning. So it means if you see something like sine 2x, times sine 2x, it is actually written as sine squared 2x. That's how it's written. So since we've seen sine squared 3x, it means sine 3x is multiplying itself twice. That's the meaning. So if this is what we have, what does this look like to you? This looks like what? Product, sorry, chain rule. It looks like chain rule. So how do we then solve this very problem. It is quite simple. Remember, you can watch videos on chain rule by clicking this link right here. You can watch that very uh, video by clicking that thing. Okay. So how do we then solve this problem? So um, for students that are fast already, they already know what to do. But let me just behave as if I am finding or as if I am solving by the chain rule. So see what we we'll do in chain rule. So what we we'll do in chain rule, we we'll actually substitute well, actually substitute, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, let this guy in the bracket, let this guy be u. So let u be equal to what? Sine 3x. 
And that's quite reasonable. If I should call this u, what does it mean? Why would then become what? u squared. Look at it this way. You've got everything here u, so it means you now have u to the power of what? 2. So what is the rule? Chain rule says dy dx is always du dx, du dx times dy du, dy du. So what's your du dx? du dx means differentiate u with respect to x. So how do we do this? Differentiate sine 3x. What did I say you do? You first of all think of this angle 3x. So differentiate 3x, what would you have? 3. Differentiate sine, what would you have? Cos. Put the angle back, 3x. Then times dy du. Differentiate y with respect to u. So this is u squared. What do we have if we differentiate with respect to u? That will give you 2u. Remember that the, power, the number here is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Write your u. Then 2 minus 1 is 1. So finally, this will then become 3 cos 3x times 2. What is your u initially? Remember you said u is what? u is sine 3 So you have to replace it back. So u is sine 3x. So right now, can we multiply? Yes. 3 times 2 will give us 6. Then we have cos 3x sine 3x. So this will be the result of everything. Now please take note that sine 3s and cos 3s can be interchanged since we are multiplying. Sine 3s can come first or cos 3s comes first the way it is. So this will be the result if you differentiate this. This was last year's jam pass question. It came outside and students were asked to differentiate y equals sine squared 3x. So this is really, it's quite easy. It's quite easy to actually differentiate. So let me give you exercises. Let me just give you two exercises. Two exercises. You have to be very careful when solving them. Two exercises. Okay. So um, the exercise will just go this way. We're going to have number one. If y is equal sine squared 5x, find dy dx. Number two, if y is equal x cos x, find dy dx. Okay, I think just these two will be okay. So remember, you can always message me on WhatsApp using that very um, number there, or you can join me on Facebook using that very name. I'm the only one that actually bears that name on Facebook. Okay, don't mind me. So please remember to subscribe to this very channel. Tell your friends about it and like this very video. Thank you very much.